here's the first one right here in the crosswalk. And here's the second one. Ever see one of these? It is one of many mysterious tiles placed all across Philadelphia. They are as difficult to remove from the pavement as they are to understand. Toynbee Idea, movie 2001, Resurrect Dead, Planet Jupiter. They may be part of one of the city's most overlooked mysteries. The tiles can be found in Center City. This one is at 13th and Chestnut Streets. South Philadelphia. This is at Broad and Oregon. Action News also found one along the Vine Street Expressway. And this one was along the Schuylkill Expressway. As many as 60 of them have appeared in Philadelphia embedded in pavement since the early 1980s. That's crazy, man. Yes. Now you're going to have me looking at maybe, all the street corners. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's some Steven Spielberg stuff or whatever. It might be. There's lots of strange things around the city. <laughs> Doesn't surprise you then? No. Yeah. Not in this world. They are known as Toynbee tiles and have also emerged in several other major U.S. cities like New York, Pittsburgh, and St. Louis. Plus, they have been spotted in South America, Argentina, Chile, and Brazil. This one was photographed in Buenos Aires and is in Spanish. So who is placing these tiles all over Philadelphia and all over the world for that matter? And what do they mean? A group of Philadelphia filmmakers might be getting close to figuring that out. It's pretty heavy concepts. Yeah. <laughs> the filmmakers, three of them, are working to crack the Toynbee tile case. They even replicated the tile making process using linoleum, crack filler, and glue. The source of this urban vandalism, they believe, is an artist who is trying to say something. Exactly what is unclear. Some kind of metaphor or something, you know. Um, it might not be meant to be taken literally. Let's break down the tile's message. Toynbee idea. That is certainly a reference to Arnold J. Toynbee, a British historian who had unconventional views on the rise and fall of civilizations. Movie 2001, a reference to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, a movie with several mind-bending themes about life, death, and time travel. Resurrect or raise dead, perhaps another Toynbee motif talking about furthering mankind, and Planet Jupiter one of the outer space settings from the Kubrick movie. Put it all together, and even these filmmakers are a bit confused. Yeah, I think it's pretty unrealistic to think that someone is just joking around here. You know, I mean, I think their dedication really shows you how serious they are about whatever it is that they're trying to tell us. Action News contacted the Philadelphia Streets Department about this. A spokeswoman acknowledged the act is defacing city property, but said hardly anyone had noticed one before we called. There are no plans to investigate any further. We tried our best to gain some answers. Join the idea. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's on there pretty good. So who is responsible? You may be quick to suggest it is the group of filmmakers who are documenting their own quest to solve the puzzle. People would say, oh, these guys making the movie are putting them down, you know, but I mean, you know, they've been appearing since the 80s. I mean, so are you? you know. Are you putting them here? No want to get to the bottom of who's doing them because we think they're really cool and they're really unique. Some believe that Tyler lives in South Philadelphia. A neighbor tried to help us talk to the resident of this row home along South 7th Street. In a strange twist, Toynbee investigators say this very address, complete with a zip code, appeared on a Rio de Janeiro intersection near where an actual Toynbee tile was spotted. The man who lives at the address has insisted again and again that he knows nothing about the mystery. He's not putting tiles down. No! No, that man ain't doing nothing. No. He's just a good person. Several websites claim a Philadelphia resident named James J. Morasco, who died in 2003, is the Tyler. They say he had lost his voice late in life and was an Arnold J. Toynbee fanatic who wanted to colonize Jupiter. So that, at this point, is still a complete mystery. Back to the filmmakers. They believe there are at least two Toynbee Tylers. The original, who tends to use the phrase resurrect dead, and the copycat, who changed it to say raise dead. Plus, they claim they have zeroed in on a prime suspect. They will reveal the person in their documentary. We're reasonably sure that we know who it is, but not 100 percent sure. Uh, and we're, we're not disclosing it at this point. Until then, the Toynbee tiles will remain a great urban mystery. Perhaps others will stop stepping over them and begin wondering what secrets they may or may not behold. I'm Matt O'Donnell for 6ABC.com, Channel 6 Action News.